Uh, another question I keep getting asked is uh, about double lean. Um, quite simple really, it's just uh, black lean and black earth. It does mix up quite heavy, it's not, there is another one which is like a, a heavier version of the black earth, it's a bit like molehill soil I suppose. Uh, I've just mixed up equal parts, I've put a pint of um, black earth and a pint of uh, black lame, mix it together. It does look a bit like what you find in a worm pot I suppose. I'm um, just going to make a ball up as if I was normally fishing with it as you do. Just a ball like that. See how long it takes to break up. Bearing in mind there's no feed particles in there whatsoever. It's just basically lame and soil. <clears throat> it's what most people normally use on canals in winter and especially on rivers as well if you're looking for a, a, a mix that's really heavy, <coughs> quite heavy. <coughs> Excuse me. It will sit on the bottom for a while. I'm guessing anyway because I've never actually studied this before but there's uh, like I said there's no feed value in it obviously if you put pinkies and squats or whatever in there then uh, obviously it should break down a bit quicker like I said I used this well, I said yesterday on the, 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 the other video I did with lean I've used this mix in a feeder before, not mixed as heavy as this obviously, uh, mixed it a little bit drier and I was catching tension on that and brain. Just goes to show that fish don't really need to have like any ground bait in a feeder or whatever to attract them. I'm guessing they just home in on it with probably the noise more than anything. It does but it should give off a bit of a cloud anyway. You can see the air bubbles coming up, that might attract them as well. But it is breaking down very slowly. And when you're mixing it up, uh, best thing to do is just tip it straight out of the bag onto like a 2mm riddle. Just get all the lumps out. You probably find more lumps in the the black earth than you do in the, in the lean. The lean will just push pretty much straight through. On the black earth you might find a few lumps and bumps that you want to get rid of or not. Like I said there's no feed value in it anyway so not a problem. So I know on the continent a lot of people use this kind of uh, style of feeding for uh, bloodworm and joker fishing. I remember watching um, a video about Drennan England a couple of years back they were fishing uh, I can't remember what, what, what river it was or what water but they were uh, the Germans did pretty well and basically they were just feeding soil and that was it which is basically this stuff so you can literally just ball it in with, uh, with just soil really I've had a few few days out when I used to live in Germany I used to go to a river or whatever and uh, yeah, as you do, you forget your ground bait, so you just go and raid a load of molehill soles and boil a, boil a load of that in, and you can catch all day. All good fun. It's uh, starting to break up a bit quicker now. I'll just give it a little nudge, see what happens. Now that's still quite solid. You can see a bit of a cloud, like a small slit coming off it. As you can see the, the float's not even going in, it's going in about 2 mil. And then it's just solid. Oh, there we go, a bit just broke off there. Yeah, I reckon that could stay in the water for, for quite a while without having to top up. It's 
like I said in the previous video, there's that, that many different types of lean that you can use as a, one that makes things really solid, which is called betonite, which is, I think it's more or less like concrete. You put that in, that makes it like uh, really heavy. Obviously you've got your grey lean, which you normally use for, for separate, like just cupping in with joker or bloodworm. Like the damp lean that I did yesterday and there's well, one day I will go through all the limbs that I've got and that, that can be used I just wanted to see what this mix actually acts, uh, reacts like in water there's quite a few bigger bits coming off now obviously you can add some kind of flavour into it if you want to just put some vanilla in it or caramel or even coriander if you have to roach whatever you fancy yeah, it's starting to speed up a bit now Give it another quick poke with this, see if I can get any further in. No, that's still quite solid in the middle. So if you imagine a fish pecking at that, that's the kind of cloud you'll get off it. interesting stuff like I said the activity kind of keeps the fish there you can see there's <coughs> air bubbles coming up I'm assuming that will uh, attract a fish in to where the ball is anyway and obviously if your your baits anywhere near that they'll help home in on that interesting to watch it though and yeah, like I said if you've got any other products that you want me to use if I've got them um, just pop a comment below and I'll get it done for you cheers